I'm about to shout out my shoes up here, man. Y'all better sit me down. I'm about to holler one good time. Watch. He says, listen, verse 7, the angel of the Lord encamps around those that fear him and he delivers them. The angel of the Lord, thank you, brother, encamps around, builds a fortress around those that fear God and then God delivers them. Now, now, child of God, you got to hear this because there have been some scenes in your life where the enemy was trying to take you out for real, for real. There have been some times he didn't want to just mess up your reputation. He wanted to take your life. He was trying to destroy you. He doesn't come to play with you. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But God set up whoop, some encampments. Whoop, some ambushes all around you and wouldn't let the enemy get through with what he was trying to do. I need somebody in here who knows you should have been dead, could have been dead, would have been dead, but God dispatched some angels. God deputized some ambassadors and they secured you. Oh, where's that person in here who know good and well you should have been dead a long time ago as you were driving down that road that night, sleepy as you could be, you start dozing off and then just in the nick of time, God dispatched somebody, shook you, woke you up and you in here today as a testimony. Is there anybody in here who can testify? God sent some angels in my direction. Where my old school church all night and all day, angels keep watching over me. I'm done. Build encampments around me. Oh, bless his high name. I'm trying to quit the little message. I'm trying to finish it. But somebody's reflecting right now on what your life could have, would have been had it not been for God dep dispatching, deputizing some angelic protection. I'm done. I'm done. But he protected me from dangers seen and unseen. Stuff I didn't even know was trying to get at me. Stuff I had no idea was coming in my direction. But God said not so. I need somebody in here who knows that God got between you and it and God blocked it. Oh, my, 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 my. I need somebody in here who can help me close the message and testify. I don't know all that tried to get to me. But whatever it is, God got between it and me and God blocked it. Somebody ought to thank God for protection. David, David reflects on his life and he says, God's been keeping me. God's been protecting me. God's been shielding me. God's been covering me. God's been hiding me. God's been lifting me. God's been preserving me. God is a way maker. God is a storm tamer. God is the one who'll fight your battles. God is the one who'll give you peace. God is the one who'll give you joy. God is the one who'll let you sleep well at night. God is the one who'll give you be the lifter of your head. I need somebody in here who knows who my God is. David says, I got reflection now, and I've seen him work miracles. I've seen him fight battles. I've seen him make ways. I've seen it. But don't take my word for it. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good.
blessed is the one who trusts in him I'm going to my seat but is there anybody in here ready for your invitation to try God for yourself I don't need you to take my word for it I need you to try him for yourself and you'll find out there's nothing too hard for God when you try him for yourself you'll find out he will restore your joy he will restore your peace he will give you victory over your enemy is there anybody in the building today who said man you don't need to tell me because I've already tried him for myself I need the folk who grew up in church to wave at me right quick because if you grew up in church you heard those church folks saying he's a doctor in a sick room he's a lawyer in a courtroom he'll be money in your pocket he'll be a bridge over troubled water he'll be a shelter in the time of storm he'll be your battle axe in battle that's what they told us when we were growing up we didn't know what they were talking about until we got sick and found out he really is a doctor in a sick room until you got in trouble and you found out he'll be a lawyer in a courtroom until you had some troubled waters and found out he'll take you over to the other side can I find somebody in church today who can help me close this message and say I don't need to take your word for it I tried him for myself and I found out can't nobody do me like Jesus can't nobody do me like the Lord won't he hold you won't he rock you won't he keep you won't he provide for you won't he make a way for you won't he open doors for you won't he put running in your feet clapping in your hands joy in your heart a new song in your mouth well if you know it let me tell you what verse 3 says oh magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together nobody in church ought to have to bless God by yourself let everything Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Let everybody in this church who know God's been good to you, give God the best praise you can. Bless him. Bless him. Make it visible. Make it verbal. Make it audible. Shake this house with your praise. Shake this sanctuary with your praise. Shake this building with your praise. I don't care if you don't praise him like she does. You don't have to praise him like he does. But let everything. Let everything. Yes, Lord. this place expand him magnify him make him large in your life make him large in your home make him large on your job make him large in this temple
give God the thanks he deserves. Give him the thanks that he deserves. The fruit of your lips. The clapping of your hands. Clap unto God. Shout unto God with a voice of fire. Yes, Lord. some verbal responses. I hear some verbal responses. I hear some verbal responses. There's some vocal responses. The Bible says the Lord inhabits the praise of his people. It means God takes up residence where praise is going on. If you need God to show up in your situation, I dare you to go ahead right now and take the time to bless him for what you need this week, this week, this week.
This praise is for the folk who can get vocal without music. Who can get visible without music. You're not going to have the band at your house all the time when you need to praise God. Sometimes you just got to praise him in the still silence of your experience. You be the noise that is joyful unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody ought not let her walk by herself. Somebody ought to walk with her. Just a walk of victory. That's a walk of victory. Somebody ought to walk with her. Don't let her walk by herself. She's, you don't know what she's trying to walk it out. You don't know what, trying, what she's trying to walk through. Come on. Don't let her walk by herself. Don't let her walk by herself. Hallelujah. 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 Work it out while she walks, God. Work it out while she's walking. Work it out while she's walking. Fix it while she's walking. Fix it while she's walking. Uh oh, she didn't go on to running. Fix it while she's running. Fix it, Jesus. Will you please? Fix it. She trusts in you. Let her never be put to shame. She trusts in you. Dispatch your angels, Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Fix it, God. Fix it. God, this afternoon, our prayer is not a petition for anything. This prayer is thanksgiving for everything. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for being so good to us.